We will talk here. Relax. Let me handle this. Johnny. Came through the black wall to meet me. That mean we're good? Things are chill between us? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. To give you a chance to pay me back for getting you out of Arasaka Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save his life. What did you do with Brigitte? She's still alive? Yes, but she is not needed at the moment. What do you want? This chip, the relic, it's killing me. Construct on it's worming its way through my neural system. I see this, but why is it my problem? Why the fuck isn't it? You created Soul Killer. You handed Arasaka a fucking super weapon that dismantled me, you, and half the runners in Night City. Your death was of your own making. Jesus, Alt, I dove in after you. Gonna tell me now this ain't your problem? It is not. The Alt Cunningham you strove to save in Arasaka Tower no longer exists. This should be obvious to you, as you were responsible for her death. Your death wasn't Johnny's fault. How could you know? Seen you in his memories. It was an accident. What you saw was his subjective view of what happened. A warped account of events he locked away in his subconscious, and replayed time and again. It bears no resemblance to the truth. If you're not Alt, who are you? I use her engrammatic data. Really? You find this icy bitch aspect in there too? Mind unloading this baggage later? I wasn't sure what to expect from a meeting with an AI, but it sure wasn't a digital spat. How's that help me exactly? That didn't make it any worse. Okay, I get it. You hate Johnny's guts, but what about me? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. Interesting. Brigitte claimed she alone could help me. The Voodoo Boys deceived you. Why am I not surprised? Fine, so how about Mikoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Mikoshi, it would cease to exist. Good, we can work with that. We'll get you inside Mikoshi and you'll help V, deal? Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Mikoshi on her own? I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far said I'm too far gone. By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you. Then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name, but Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into his body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Right, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. We'll crack a window, slip you into Mikoshi. Johnny, uh, embellishes, in case you hadn't noticed. You don't trust him, which is fine. But you have my word, we'll slip you inside Mikoshi while keeping you out of harm's way. I believe this human factor and I have things in common. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. I'll, like, contact you once I'm ready. 
This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Voodoo boys, what about them? They shall let you pass unharmed. Those were our terms. So you managed to survive. Be interesting to see how your deal with Alt works out. Won't be easy to dupe her. And I'm not sure you guys know another way to operate. You dare now to lecture me? I think I'd rather give you your due. Dad'll have a better shot. Enough. Alt can protect you in her realm, but here and now, you are in mine. I actually was just on my way out. Ship. My silver handosis is clearly incubating. That appointed finger I hear in your voice? Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flatlining while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Uh, might be right. We're bickering like a couple of geezers on a park bench. It's time we let up, let a little trust take hold. <sighs> Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value, death. Facing it, staring it down, you still got a chance to be somebody. Bullshit. Nothing dignifying in suffering. Death. Not how legends are born. What was it like... when you died? What's on top of the world? Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? <laughs> Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness. Had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember. Cold, a black void, fear. Or... Or was that your death? Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? Fucking around with the human mind. <laughs> Consciousness. Not any different than being a farm corpse lab rat. Nah, it's something else. 
Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Oh shit, not good. Hey, look.
Where'll it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, it sir. It would erupt, but... Oh, perfect timing. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wizened eye will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I can speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. 
And how you aim to manage that? While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Gotta be honest, that running's not my forte. It is even less mine. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. I think I see where this is going. Got me doing all the dirty work. Do you wish to trade places? What exactly would you say to her? Hello, my name is V. Hanako-sama knows me. Only I can do this. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. worked. Stupid thief, ain't I? Keep saying so yourself. Not without reason. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... 
Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. Chill, Johnny. He's Sokka scum to you, I know that. But Garo's not a bad guy. Not a bad guy? He was Saburo fucking Arasaka's bodyguard. Think his pretty eyes landed in that gig? What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. There's no time to waste, Dot five. V. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't I'm a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Louder! Louder! Decided to double the in the flesh. President Myers has called. He eliminated the, the last obstacle the between Force himself and the complete power. The and they and surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a. Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could have kept the sun on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds.
Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. Come. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Oh, can you run and grab us a pizza? Take out the food? No, just no. If I had time and ingredients, I would prepare some onigiri with cod, or with grilled salmon. No, even better, with umeboshi plums. Mmm, Arasaka-sama's favorite appetizer. Simple, tasty, and filling. I found him chewing once, pride on his face. It was a protein bar. Saburo Arasaka with a protein bar? Get out of here. Like a true soldier. Okay, enough. Or well, we'll both grow hungry. Let's do this. Pipes, see him? We could use them to get inside. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Got eyes in the comm system. A lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. This is not bad. Transformer by the wall. See it? 
We should use it to step up. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampik Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. A back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Racing my bobber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth corn field. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 has the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. Let me guess. So they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. 
Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world and its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists. As if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability? Save Cheap 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate Corpse more than anything. Can't blame him either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Compeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally started to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. I'll be in touch. The diversion reaction, that is mine to do. Yeah. 